Without hesitation, the craftsman took what appeared to be an ordinary, hard piece of oxhide and cut it into a circular shape. The cut leather was then soaked in water for eight hours, returning it to a softer, more pliable state, perfect for the next step in the next frosting process. Using this material, the craftsman would skillfully create a valuable piece of traditional art. Watching the entire process is truly impressive. Before beginning, the craftsman marked a circular shape on the leather with a shima or rain and made small cuts along the outline. Eight iron rods were then inserted as supports and used to stretch the leather over a cylindrical mold. The rods helped secure the leather tightly to the mold, allowing the material to be shaped. At this point, can you guess what the craftsman is making? As the leather was gradually tightened by turning wooden sticks and winding ropes, it stretched and conformed to the mold, forming a round shape. This stretching process needed to be maintained until the leather was fully set in its new form. Meanwhile, another craftsman hollowed out a wooden cylinder, shaping it with a smooth, rounded structure. The exterior was then meticulously sanded to a polished finish, enhancing the wood's natural texture. Next, the craftsman prepared a special lacquer made from ground minerals and applied a coat to the wooden surface. This layer provided a rich, saturated color while preserving the wood grain. Once dried, a second coat was applied for a glossy finish, offering protection and enhancing durability. With the woodwork complete, one crucial component remained a decorative handle resembling a car door. The craftsman located the center of the wooden cylinder and aligned the handle panel's holes to the center. Brass nails were used to secure the panel in place, followed by attaching the handle, which was split into two parts and mounted securely. Now, the main structure of the wooden drum was finished and the leather fully stretched and set was ready to be placed over the wooden frame. The craftsman used ropes to tighten the leather against the wooden body, ensuring it fit perfectly. Standing atop the drum, the craftsman used his full weight to press down, achieving a uniform stretch. The craftsman then marked a line along the drum's edge for brass nails, securing the leather in place. Once the upper and lower sections were fastened with evenly spaced nails, the support ropes and iron rods were removed. Any excess leather was trimmed away, completing this meticulously handcrafted drum. The skill and creativity of the craftsmen are truly remarkable. How would you rate this exceptional display of craftsmanship?